Sayyidna, thank you for sharing this very special day with us. It means a lot to us to have you among us. Distinguished visitors, directors, teachers, staff, friends, and family, and of course, students. The first thing I want to do is give a big round of applause for the class of 2011. I can't believe it. It seems like just yesterday, you were all this tall, running around in your adorable little uniforms, and now most of you are taller than I am. You've blossomed into truly inspiring young men and women, and I'm proud of each and every one of you. I can't help but think this is good practice for when I finally have to send my firstborn to university. I don't know how you parents are bearing up. The mixture of anxiety and joy, it must be difficult to decide how to feel. So happy they've graduated, yet so sad to see them go off on their own. Students, hugs are free and we love them. So hand them out today like there's no tomorrow. The overwhelming feeling I have, of course, is one of pride. We can all be proud at what well-rounded, intelligent, and caring people the class of 2011 have become. As they rose through the school, they showed us what it means to be studious in the classroom and, just as importantly, what it means to be selfless in the community. This year alone, they raised over 10,000 JDs for Haiti and donated spare toys and clothes for children in Gaza. But what's really touching is how they gave the most valuable thing of all, their time, by volunteering at places like Al Amal, where they could play with disabled children and bring a smile to their faces. It's compassionate qualities like these that make you stand out above other students, and they'll continue to do so as you build your career. It's what makes this whole day special. You know, there have been so many occasions in the past seven years when I've admired you guys. But I have to say, when Dr. Hanna sent me the list of the universities that you got into, my heart swelled, and I was so, so proud of you. Not only are several of you going to Ivy League schools, but because of your hard work, your talents, your ambitions, we've got a roll call of some of the finest universities in the world. Class of 2011, you have put the IAA on the map. Thank you. And of course, let's not forget the teachers who marked your papers late into the night and through the weekends and who recommended you to the universities, you'll soon be freshmen. Teachers, we appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for your inspiration and your dedication to our As well as Dr. Hanna, for her vision, her leadership, and commitment to making the IAA one of the best schools in the region, and of course in Jordan. And I know it hasn't been easy, but you've done miracles. Thank you. So, exams are over, summer is long. What now? You can rest a bit, that's allowed, but only for a moment. You can bask in the many memories you'll be taking with you. The good times you had with friends, the crazy moments you had on trips, the days you snuck into school wearing pajamas, now, you might think that revising for the SATs and the IB is as hard as it gets. No, no, no. The hard work is just beginning. And my words will come back to haunt you at 3 a.m. in your halls of res residence when you have a paper due at 9, your internet's petered out because you forgot to pay the connection bill, you haven't eaten dinner, there's nothing in for breakfast, and you don't have clean pants because you haven't done your laundry in three weeks. <laughs> Yes? Yeah, 
rest, the hard work ahead is going to make you appreciate just how easy your moms and dads have made it for you. Now, to help you get through it, I want to get to the fun bit of be being a graduation speaker, and that's passing on some memorable tips for the future. I call them the seven sevens. There are seven pieces of advice about the number seven, one for every year of the IAA. First, run for the hills. We know life is full of ups and downs. If we're not climbing one hill, we're rolling down another. But we're lucky. The seven hills of Amman have taught us that the struggle up can be good for us and the ride down can be fun. So aim for the hills and challenges in life. Don't avoid them. Second, stare at the sun and the moon, Mars, Mercury, Jupiter, Venus, and Saturn too. They may be millions of miles away, but we can see all seven celestial bodies with the naked eye. So set your sights on even the furthest and hardest to reach goals. Third, harness the rainbow. We all learned that light is white, but when scattered across the sky, it paints an arc of seven beautiful colors. Rainbows remind us that diversity brings strength, that together we can bring light and hope to even the darkest places. Fourth, carve your name in stone. Our beloved Petra is one of the seven wonders of the modern world. It's lasted thousands of years because it was chiseled right from the rock. Today, digital cameras are the chisels, the internet is the rock. Anyone can record your words and actions for posterity. Make sure the impression you leave is one you'd be proud to have last a thousand years. Fifth, pack your backbone. Did you know almost every mammal, whether human, whale, giraffe, or camel, has just seven vertebrae in their spines? When you confront the real world, take all seven with you. Take your backbone and stand up for the principles you believe in, no matter the struggle or hardship. Sixth, turn up the volume. It takes just seven notes to make a musical scale. Yet, we can make countless harmonies and melodies, everything from Beethoven to Justin Bieber. <laughs> so remember, creativity has no limits and is invaluable for success in any profession. Never lose touch with your creative side. Nurture and develop it. And finally, seventh, phone home. The world is a big place. There are seven continents full of beauty and wonder to distract you. Wherever you are, don't forget, Jordan is home. And your family... <laughs> don't forget, Jordan is home, and your family wants to know how you're doing. So call when you can, and come back when you're ready. Jordan needs your knowledge, expertise, and skills. We all need you to help lead our country into the future. So there you have them, your seven sevens. I don't doubt you'll do us all proud. As you head out into the big world, just remember this day. Remember the smiles and happiness, the hopes and expectations, and that you have so much going for you. Not just a well-rounded education, but the support and faith of so many family and friends. All you have to do is apply yourself and the rest will come. And now I'd like to say a few words in Arabic. Shabab wa sabaya al-IAA, mabruk ilkum, wal ahilkum, wal ma'alminkum, wa niyali fikum kulkum. انكم مستعجلين يمكن مستعجلين على كل شيء مستعجلين الملكه رانيا تخلص وتروحوا عشان تحتفلوا <تصفيق> مستعجلين لحياه الجامعه بدكم تلحقوا على كل شيء بنفس الوقت ان شاء الله بعد 15 او 20 سنه بتروا تتمنوا تلحقوا بس على الاساسيات كل يوم مراكضة الأهالي طبعاً قادرين أنا شو بقصد 
ان شاء الله تكونوا مقدرين تعب اهلكم عشانكم زي ما انا بقدر لاهلكم تعبهم عليكم وثقتهم بالمدرسه ورسالتها بطلب من الجميع مستوى الاهالي اي الاهالي الموجودين بناتنا شكرا كثير بتمنى تكونوا على يقين دائما انكم متميزون ومميزون بالتاكيد ما بتعرفوا كل شيء ما حدا بيعرف كل شيء لكنكم تعلمتوا كيف تتعلموا من كل ما حولكم والنبي الكريم صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول يظل المرء عالما ما طلب العلم فاذا ظن انه قد علم فقد جهل لم يكن سهلا عليكم ان تكونوا الدفعه الاولى لكنكم لم تكونوا في يوم من تجربة بل كنتم دائما رواد وما أنجزته هذه المدرسة في سبع سنوات مفخرة لكل عامل وطالب هنا ونتائجكم دليل على ذلك للريادة دائما تحديات سلكتم دربا لم تطأه أقدام من قبل فحفرتم في الرمال بصماتكم لتكون دليلا لطالب العلم لطلاب العلم في هذه الاكاديميه من بعدكم. مشيتم مع الاكاديميه خطواتها الاولى وها هي اليوم تحتضنكم كالام يوم سفر ابنها. داعيه للعلي ان يحميكم وينير دربكم. امله ان تعودوا نساء ورجالا لتحدثوها هي واخوانكم الصغار عما مررتم به وما رايتم في غربتكم عنها. كل ثقة أن إنجازاتكم في الحياة ستكون عظيمة لأن الريادة أصبحت من ميزاتكم هي دوركم في الحياة ارفعوا رأس أهلكم ارفعوا رأس مدرستكم ارفعوا رأس بلدكم إنكم أيها السنابل نضجتم تحت شمس الأردن تلونتم بلون صحرائها وتفتحتم كالسوسن والحنون في ربيعها ستدخلون الآن ميادين جديدة ربما في بلدان أخرى وكل أمل بأن تحملوا الأردن معكم أينما ذهبتم أن تكونوا سفراء تنقلون عن بلدنا صورة إيجابية مشرقة أن تتحلوا بالمبادئ التي جدلها أهلكم ومعلموكم بين طيات سنابلكم مبادئ الاحترام التقدير الجد والاجتهاد والعمل من أجل مجتمعكم سواء الأردني أو العربي أو العالمي سوف يكون كل اسم من أسمائكم الاثنين والثلاثين محفورا في ذاكرة كل معلم وكل مشرف وذكرياتكم في كل فصل وكل زاوية فأنتم حب هذه المدرسة الأول وما الحب إلا للحبيب الأول يعطيكم العافيه والله يوفقكم بكل خطوه وكل مرحله بحياتكم السلام عليكم ورحمه الله